All right, guys, what's going on? We out here with another class. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> all right, all right. So, shoulder hook, expand away, sink. Position, final tucks, thumbs, chin, and butt. Rise up through the top of the head, tie gong, all the way from the bottom of your sacrum. All right, turn the hands open. Let go of your legs and rise up off your knees. straight yang lines. It's the Bhagwan. The wiggle. Hand loose, just your thumb is tight. It's the sound like that wiggle. Mm -hmm. Nice and sensitive. Your mind is there in the palm of your hand. Make sure your fingers are up, but your structure doesn't stress and your shoulder blade is down properly. And then just collapse and get your jump in. Like when you look at your hand and it's straight, try and feel the same energy in your neck going upwards. It's parallel. So I want three times, right? Mm-hmm. You can do it again. Sometimes when I practice my stance, I'll just do this move for an hour. Mm -hmm. Because it's the most important move in the first section. That's why you do it three times. Mm -hmm. Just do it over and over again. That's why I always lose count of it when I'm doing form. Because I don't think about numbers. I think about doing it correctly. Yeah, just done it, yeah. I'm so into it that all I'm thinking about. Just keep that elbow down. Just keep it moving. Alright, now pop. Boom. Boom. Tighten the thumb. Hands loose. Just for the first time, so. Forearms level. Belly button or solar plexus. Neck and fingers are straight. Shoulder doesn't move, stays in place where it belongs. It's already designed to be right next to your ear, so moving it in front of your ear to gain reach mm. destroys the functionality of your shoulder. Mm. Boxers, they sometimes hug their ears with their shoulders when they come out of the corner yeah. to try and protect the sides of their heads. After years of doing that, it can destroy their punches. Oh, wow. Yeah. We don't have that problem in the gym. We don't retire at 40, we usually get better at 40. Yeah. So, professional boxer retires around the age of 40. Professional Wing Chun guy doesn't even get good until he's usually 40. Mm -hmm. He understands the limitation of his muscles and he's more relaxed because his body's finished growing. He has more time to tune it in and relax it. So growing up is really hard. You can't feel anything. You can't sort through all the feelings you have because everything's expanding in 360 degrees, right? How do you pick that apart? When you're 40, you're already fully expanded. Now you can pick it apart. Mm -hmm. So now I can 
eat the diet that I'm used to and then add an apple to it and see what an apple does. But when I'm young, I'm eating everything. Everything is sandwich. <clears throat> I don't know what an apple does to me because I'm eating three million different things a day. My metabolism is through the roof. Okay. When I'm older, I'm set in my ways. I notice the difference things make. So, you're never the same person. <clears throat> and that's why we practice every day. I'll leave it at that. Tell everybody.